Oh, there's the keys right here. <laughs> this is a 1937 Farmall F30. With the year I was born, a guy up the road about a half mile bought this tractor. And it ran, he used it a little bit, and he parked it. I think he said the manifold went bad, he put a new manifold on, never started it again. So it sat for a long time, and I wasn't even driving at the time. He came down here, picked me up to help him move it up out of the woods. And we drug it out and I saw crap flying out of the spark plug hole. So he had the spark plugs out. So I told him, I said, I, I'd like to buy that tractor. I want this tractor. And he wanted $2,500, I about fell over, you know. I didn't know what they were worth. I didn't know anything. So I talked to a guy that I deal with and he said probably 500 bucks the shape it was in. Well, me and this guy went back and forth and back and forth 10 years later. <laughs> He was getting ready to scrap it and I finally said, Butch, just sell me the tractor. So I got it and each cylinder had its own mouse nest. It was locked up. I had to pound it loose. It's been to quite a few shows. And when I first got it done, it was the only F30. Anywhere I took it, it was the only F30. And now over the years, quite a few more showing up. I had it running in a year and it took me another year to get it painted. So in that year that it wasn't painted, I plowed and dissed with it once or twice. After it was painted, I raked with it. When I first got it running, I took it out to the fair and I pulled it once. And I think I pulled it twice after it was painted. But then I decided just to kind of give her a little break. I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> Those F30s, you, you can't find parts for these. They're not readily available. F30s aren't the easiest thing to find, especially in this part of the world. They're not the easiest tractor to find. 